Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, I am Archbishop Timothy Brolio, the Archbishop for the Military Services of the United States of America. The Archdiocese entrusted to my pastoral care spans the globe and serves approximately 1.8 million Catholic men, women, and children. They include those on active duty worldwide in all five branches of the U.S. Armed Forces, the Army, Navy, Marine Corps, Air Force, and Coast Guard, and those enrolled in the service academies, those hospitalized or receiving health care at VA medical centers throughout the country and in Guam and Puerto Rico, those serving the federal government in a civilian capacity beyond our national borders, the families of these populations. These Catholics come from all 50 states and U.S. territories, including your own diocese, even your own parish. That is why it's critically important for you and others to know about the Archdiocese for the Military Services, the AMS. Her sole responsibility is to bring the good news of Jesus Christ, the sacraments, and other spiritual food for those who serve or once did and their families. No other Catholic diocese serves this crucial purpose by endorsing priests to serve as military chaplains and providing a full range of pastoral programs for military Catholics, the AMS strives to meet the same spiritual needs of the faithful that your home diocese does. It is both a challenge and a privilege for which I ask your help. The difficulties of distance, the longest war in our history, and a desperate shortage of priests on active duty all raise hurdles for this unique ministry. For example, to offer ongoing formation to catechists or to explain the archdiocesan-wide catechetical program for U.S. military installations in Korea or Germany. Someone has to travel from the AMS home base in Washington, D.C. all the way to Asia or Europe. My auxiliary bishops and I do a good bit of traveling ourselves. In fact, I spend more than 200 days a year on the road, visiting Catholic communities around the world. On our pastoral visits, my auxiliaries and I preach the gospel, administer confirmations, spend time with the faithful, meet with chaplains, and where and when possible, visit those in command. The AMS runs a sacramental de records department that houses over 3 million records for sacraments celebrated on military installations since 1918. Year in and year out, a small, hardworking staff processes approximately 8,000 incoming records for new baptisms, first communions, confirmations, marriages, and other sacraments. They issue some 6,000 certificates requested by the faithful. The AMS operates a tribunal which makes use of ecclesial justice, judges from various places across the country to adjudicate annulment petitions and other matters of canon law. Right now, the U.S. military has fewer than 200 priests on active duty. It needs at least three or four times that many to serve fully the needs of its 325,000 Catholics now in uniform. Because of the shortage, many deployed Catholics go weeks or months at a time without access to the sacraments. The AMS is working with dioceses and religious communities around the country to find new laborers for the vineyard. The co-sponsored seminarian program is the U.S. Church's only vocations partnership that shepherds candidates for both the civilian priesthood and the military chaplaincy. The military is the single largest source of vocations in the U.S. today. Since 2008, 31 priests have been ordained through the co-sponsored seminarian program. In the fall of 2018, a record 46 men were studying in 21 seminaries. An additional 17 men were in various stages of processing. With continued prayers for vocations, 
That number will continue to grow along with an increased need for financial support. Right now, the AMS annual cost per seminarian is $20,000. That amounts to $100,000 over the course of his five-year formation. The AMS total cost for all 46 co-sponsored seminarians now enrolled is projected at at least four and a half million dollars over just the next five years. That's in addition to the annual operating budget of $8.2 million. That's $8.2 million a year in operating expenses. In short, that is why I need your help. While our chaplains individually receive salaries and benefits as military officers, the AMS itself gets no funding from the military or the government. She does not receive a parish assessment or any share of Sunday collections. The AMS depends entirely on private giving for survival. The AMS depends on you. I am grateful to my brother bishops who in 2012 authorized a triennial national collection, a special collection every three years in every Catholic parish in America to meet the needs of American Catholics in uniform. I am equally thankful to parishioners across the nation who in the first two collections in 2013 and 2016 made an additional gift to the church when given the chance to support the AMS mission of serving those who serve. Many were not previously aware of the AMS, her mission or her ministry. Now they know, and so do you. The next scheduled triennial national collection for the AMS will be the weekend of November 10th, 2019. Some dioceses may elect to take up the collection sooner or later in the year, but all proceeds will end up in the same missionary basket bringing the sacraments and other pastoral care to the brave men and women who put their lives on the line to defend the values and freedoms we hold dear and the veterans who already did so. I humbly ask you to contribute to the upcoming national collection for the AMS. No amount is too large or too small. Just give as you are moved by the Holy Spirit. Help me to minister to those who put themselves in harm's way to protect this great nation of ours. Your kind donation will, in essence, ensure support for the free exercise of the Catholic faith in the U.S. Armed Forces in keeping with the liberties our Constitution guarantees, the very same freedoms our men and women in uniform risk their lives to defend. A dynamic list of participating dioceses may be found at www.millarch.org. If your diocese is not listed, please contact its chancery directly. Dioceses will be added upon confirmation received from the bishop's office. If your diocese is not participating, you can still support the AMS with an individual gift. To make a gift, or to learn more about the Triennial National Collection for the AMS, go to www.millarch.org slash national collection. Thank you for your attention, your thoughtful consideration, your kindness, and above all, your prayers for those who serve our country and our families. May God bless you.